this is Boxing Tickets and I in association with SB Sports. We're here at the Public Workout. Delighted to be joined once again with Kieran Goodfellows Malloy. I've got a nickname for you at last. Um, Kieran, I guess for yourself, it's your third fight now in Belfast. You've obviously just had your homecoming in Galway. Is there an extra spring about your step now that you've now had your homecoming fight? You can sort of relax and probably enjoy your boxing a bit more. Uh, I wouldn't say relax now, you know, I, I'm always excited for my next fight day. Uh, it's great to experience like the pressure and the headline and stuff so early on in my career I'll know what to expect for the next time but for a quick turnaround and to be on such a big car like this again you know it's hard to not get excited for you you obviously told me back in December that you're obviously happy to keep going and keep fighting keep fighting I guess the more you keep fighting and uh, and you get the fight days as quick as possible we're going to keep seeing the improvements rather than giving you time off to get fat out of the gym you know sort of thing so if you stay in the gym stay ready Colin Boxing is obviously keeping you very, very busy as well. Yeah, that's it. I don't really look at it as training camps. You know, I'm just continuously training throughout the year. So I'll be ready. I'll let you just a couple weeks notice, you know. But, yeah, I want to stay active every eight to ten weeks if possible. I know Commons and Top Rank have a, a busy schedule ahead for the rest of the year. So, look, I'm just looking forward to it. Keep on progressing. Keep on learning on the job and work our way up the ladder. Do you sort of look at the top rank cards? Obviously, you'd won that fell through. Obviously, last year. Do you now look at the big fights that's been made and going, Bob? I want to be on that card. You know, you starting to look at these summer opportunities now and going, I want to fight in these big cards. Yeah, I want to get out there in July. I want to make my US debut in July, and hopefully again towards the end of the year, maybe November, December time. I want to get out at least twice this year, if possible. So yeah, look, a young Irish guy in the states. You know, there's a lot of Irish community over there. And I've got a fan-friendly style as well, so why not? The opponent, obviously, on Saturday night, you're obviously aware of. You were supposed to fight him, obviously, on, the, on your homecoming show. Um, obviously, he got stopped in Glasgow, though, I think it was a week previously. So you've probably done a bit of preparation for this opponent. But I guess it doesn't matter who the opponent's going to be on Saturday night. I'm sure you're obviously going to look to impress the crowd once again. Yeah, of course. And look, I've got a lot of the top-ranked team over as well. So it'll be great for them to see me fight in the flesh. And yeah, he's a tough, durable opponent. You know, he's been in the ring with a few very good fighters. But uh, yeah, he's going to come to fight, and I'm well prepared for him. Obviously, last weekend, obviously in Dublin, obviously it wasn't the be for obviously a lot of Irish fighters. I was obviously saying the party earlier is sort of maybe sometimes can humble everybody else in the fact that don't jump the gun, don't think too far ahead. We've obviously seen Gary Cully losing, Katie's obviously finally get beaten. But I guess in some ways, it, it shows going to show testament again at the fact that. Irish fighters are fighting fighters. It, you know, it's not a loss; it's a sort of learning experience. This week, obviously, is a, is a chance for all, all you on the card. They obviously, I guess, they lick the wounds for a lot of people and remind them that obviously there's still more talent coming through. Yeah, 100. percent There's bundles of talent coming through Ireland, especially young guys coming up. It was unfortunate for Cully. You know, you would have favoured him to win that fight comfortably enough. But look, he was just he was clipped with a good shot. But with someone. With someone like Gary, you know, he's going to learn from that big time and he'll be back twice as strong. And he definitely will bounce back, you know, he'll become world champion someday. Uh, but yeah, look, there's bumps in the road. Uh, unfortunately for Katie as well, she took a big risk in, in moving up and weight and I think it showed. Um, but I think come Saturday night, like you said, we'll lick the wounds now. Uh, Michael Conlon, please God, becomes world champion. And you see the next group of uh, young Irish fighters coming up as well. you got Pierce O'Leary, myself, Kurt Walker. Uh, Polly McGrory is there as well, IBO world champion, Connor Quinn, you know, there's, there's, there's plenty of talent coming through and please God we can put on a good show on Saturday. I was saying to obviously Dave Siani there that obviously, you know, the last big card obviously in Belfast in 2018, Frampton Jackson and Windsor Park, we're seeing a lot more of a conveyor belt of Aussie boxers coming through, the, the amateur system down coming across, but obviously Saturday night's important for the fact and hopefully it's not putting too much pressure on, on, on Michael because he's going to be the spearhead for the rest of you to obviously be following and becomes a world champion and saying a case of when's the next one coming it's not who's going to be we know the next one will quickly follow after that yeah look we've always looked up to Michael since we were kids he's a great role model for us all and Katie you know we've always looked up to, to like those guys but we're all on good paths at the moment I do think within the next five to seven years you'll, you'll see a lot of uh, world champions come out from Ireland so please God we just need these platforms to perform on grow our, uh, our fan base and yeah, get the title shots. Down in Galway, you obviously wanted me to buy you a pizza. I'm saying on record that you avoided me in Galway in your hometown. I couldn't find a pizza shop afterwards. So we'll definitely have to meet up at some stage over the weekend and definitely get this pizza nailed because I'm fed up getting slated at my DMs for, for avoiding you for money. Um, 
but obviously I'm sure you'll enjoy a good pizza at the weekend when you obviously you moved to 6-0. Yeah, Kieran, good fellows and I, huh? You'll be buying it though this time, all right? I don't know, I think I think Jamie Jamie said he was buying the last one. Did he buy you a pizza in Galway? No, it wasn't in the contract this time. We'll get it in for the next fight. Good fellas isn't a bad name for you, is it? <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm not a good fella. <laughs> well, listen, thanks very much for your time as always. Obviously, enjoy fight week. And I'm sure we'll catch up with you on Saturday night when you get another one in the call. He's got Come on, thank you. Cheers, Karen. Take care.